Hey everybody, this is your daily dose of all things royal. And also concerns and conversations about how dark his skin might be when he's born. That's racist! All the women who've married into the royal family get bullied. Let's use the proper word for it. They all get bullied. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? All these little microaggressions and what have you, and they're, they're shocked. If somebody brings up, yeah, but what colour is your child going to be? And uh, I, I've been in that situation as well. It, it is deeply shocking. Uh, when they came back to England, they did, if you remember, um, around Prince Philip's funeral, they came back very quietly. Nobody knew they were there. They didn't make a fuss. They didn't do all the things that the British press said they would. They paid their respects, and then they left. So what were they trashed for? Not arriving and making a big fanfare. That is not correct. Any context in which that kind of conversation happened is automatically racist. Inquiring minds want to know. I want to know. If you are working against a backdrop of non-stop stuff, it doesn't take one straw, you know, it only takes one straw to break the camel's back. Excuse me a sec. What are you babbling about? I'm sorry. You know, I'm sorry, Piers. I, you don't get to call out what is and isn't racism against black people. Believe the racism stuff to us, I, I eh? Think I... Squeeze me? Oh, no, you did. How is she making a claim of racism? Two years later. Uh, so I'm not quite sure why I had to leave my job. Are you? Yes. <laughs> Well, go on, why? Um, I, because they actually didn't use the words racist. Oh, please. And Are you serious right now, bro? You want you people to believe that actually what she said, Meghan Markle to Oprah Winfrey, supported by Harry, does not constitute racism. And I'm afraid no, everyone I said it was watching this bias. will think you are being deliberately either delusional or disingenuous. Which one is it? several days later. You and I have debated this issue of race and the royals before. What do you make of this? OK, so what I will say is I will happily and humbly accept the defeat when it comes to them being called liars. They have proven themselves to be liars. Can you say that again? Just the way you said it. OK, so what I will say is I will happily and humbly accept the defeat when it comes to them being called liars. They have proven themselves to be liars. I told you. What did I tell you? Didn't I tell you? Cuz I told you. Mm-hmm. And when did I tell you? A long time ago. I watched you be gaslit by two ignorant black women. I actually felt quite sorry for you. Ignorant black women. I actually felt quite sorry for you. So I, uh -oh. <laughs> so I was basically getting gaslit. What's your response? Um, not so much the gaslit bit, but um, I guess Iman and I would have to um, agree to disagree. I wouldn't call anybody ignorant just because they don't agree with my point of view. Um, and I don't think it's helpful, especially when we're discussing something like racism. Um, so, so that would be my only comment. She's entitled to her view. Um, you're entitled to your view. I'm entitled to my view. But I think it's I actually think it's quite disgraceful to label someone ignorant purely because they don't agree with you. We so it's, it's, it's not acceptable you. to call someone ignorant, but you can call them disgraceful, Imam. Well, uh, no, no, I, I said call... doing it is disgraceful. Well, it's Sorry, the same don't, thing, don't isn't it? It's my... the same thing. You just call it no, disgraceful. No, I'm so... saying. <laughs> but I think it's. I actually think it's quite disgraceful to label someone ignorant purely because they don't agree with you. Imam, you're no, disgraceful doing for it... calling <laughs> Trisha <Sorry>. ignorant. <laughs> I think I, it's... Well, I Trisha, we think just heard you. You just said she was disgraceful. Exactly. So let her answer the charge of being a disgrace. I didn't say she was disgraceful. That's what she said. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> Michael. Michael, please. 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 Come on. OK, Iman, you're a disgrace for calling Trisha ignorant. I think I'm awesome, personally, so I just want to throw that out there. Secondly, I never called you uh, ignorant because you didn't agree with my opinion. I called you ignorant because you have a lack of knowledge. There's a clear difference, and it was never about a view. It's about just understanding facts. And when we talk about unconscious bias, that's based on feeling. That is a fact, Trisha. So it's not about me and you disagreeing as two black women. I'm going to call you ignorant in spite of your colour if you have a lack of knowledge. Simple as that. Oh, 
thank you so much. You're welcome. If Imam wants to call me ignorant and thinks of me as ignorant, what have you, yeah, fine, go ahead. Trisha, you I did mean, a lot of damage that day. You did a lot of damage and I had to come along and fix it. Just like Harry did a lot of damage. Oh. In the Oprah interview, you accuse members of your family of racism. You don't even, well, of the British press said that. Are you delusional? Do, are, do you suffer from a mental illness? And other people oh, had to come I'm along and fix it. Me, Thank Shola, you. Kiande, we had to come along and fix your dirty wax. You know what? I don't have time for people like you when you come on national TV spewing garbage. Oh, the irony! It's too much! I just want us to look at their journey for a moment. We watch them expose their truth. We like the, their truth. Mm. If I can change. Um, let me see, I'm, I'm changing. And you can change. Right. Expose their truth, defend themselves, and now they are on stage three, which is about making amends. Everybody can change! And so therefore, each agenda requires a different approach. This is, they're, they're having a conversation about discrimination and racism and, and, and oppression and stop it. These people are fake, don't let them fool you. Don't let them fool you. And then I'm going to call you ignorant in spite of your colour if you have a lack of knowledge. Simple as that. I'm a loser, baby. So why don't you kill me? Don't feel proud. Such a broad.